The boy's name was Santiago. The night got cold as the boy arrived with his flock of sheep at an abandoned stable, where the roof had fallen in long ago and an enormous sycamore had grown inside it. Vamos. Vamos pronto. He had always believed that the sheep understood him, but for the past few days he spoke to them about the girl, the daughter of a merchant who lived in a village they would reach in about four days. How are you feeling? You feeling better? I know this. You ready to see the world? Mm, in four days, I'm gonna see her again. I'm gonna tell her how I learned how to read. You like it when I read to you, huh? Maybe she won't remember me. A lot of shepherds go by in, in the village and sell their wool. It doesn't matter. I know other girls in other places. Huh? You know. <laughs> Look at you. How am I supposed to sell this wool with all this stuff? But in his heart, he knew it did matter. He was excited and at the same time uneasy. He knew that the shepherds, like traveling salesmen, always found a town where there was someone who could make them forget the joys of carefree wandering. It's a good place to stay at night. más grandes porque duran más en adelante siempre instaba a sus amigos a abrir vuestro tesoro y usar de esas riquezas abre tu propio tesoro abre tu propio tesoro As he settled in to go to sleep, using the book as a pillow, the boy thought of the phrase and of the merchant's daughter. He wanted to sleep longer. He had the same dream that night as a week ago, and once again he awakened before it ended. In the dream, a little girl told him that if he would go to Egypt, he would find a hidden treasure. Maybe the stable with the sycamore growing from within had been haunted, he thought. He calculated that he would reach Tarifa before midday. There he remembered that there was an old woman who interpreted dreams. Yes. Wake up. Wake up. In Tarifa, he could exchange his book for a thicker one, shave and a haircut. He had to prepare himself for his meeting with the girl, and he didn't want to think about the possibility that some other shepherd with a larger flock of sheep would arrive there before him and ask for her hand. These thoughts created an internal battle that ignited his fervor to obtain his treasures.